Hello, my friends. Today, on a very special Father's Day episode of your favorite show, entitled Striker, opens up some very sweet baseball cards for his personal collection. I've got a 2018 Topps Chrome Mega Box, a 2019 Topps Chrome Mega Box, and I've got some friend mail. So if you're ready, then I'm ready. Let's go! All right, happy Father's Day to everyone. We're going to start off with a little package from Tops. Don't have any clue what this is. I think it's possibly a Montgomery Club collection. But I don't know. Looks like the box. Smells like the box. So it must be the Montgomery Club collection box. What is this? What are we at? Number four now? This is always nice to get something in the mail that you don't expect. We'll see who's in here. The last couple have been really nice. I got a Jonathan India rookie auto in one of them. Let's see what this is. Oh, leading off. Shohei. It's already a W. You're gonna just cling to the top, Shohei? Look at this, he won't even come down. He's too busy striking out all who face him. <laughs> come on, there. All right. So I'm looking for a wand. I don't know if Wander's even in here, but that's what I want. Phenomenal already, Shohei, Acuna. Cal Ripken Jr. Scherzer's in there. There it is. How's it look? So this is some thin cardstock. This feels like, man, this is like thinner than, it almost feels like sticker cardstock. You know how it's real flimsy? I mean, look at this, but man is, uh, it's a little thin on the right. And if you ever wondered, You ever wondered is my card centered you can just get one of these little things they're only a couple of bucks you can get them on YouTube or on eBay so check it out you put your card right there make sure it's within the black lines we'll see if it's got threes all the way around this one doesn't it's got a four on this right hand side for the border and then on top so the bottom is centered. Yeah, it's it's okay. Just for grit, like I would send this away to get graded. At the $30 point even. Because there's not gonna be a lot of these. You watch the pop of this card right here, if you were to send it away, get a PSA 10 on it, which I don't know if that is, it's close. It's good everywhere else. But the pop will be so low that it'll be like, I mean, you could be the first one. If I sent that in, I might be the first one to even have it, you know? O'Neill Cruz, and then after it populates, hardly any. That's a cool one. Let's see who else. Anybody else going to make their appearance? How about a wit? Oh, would that be nasty? Oh, that is a nice surprise. Julio? A little thin on the bottom. That's okay. That's a sweet one. Wit? I'll take a Julio. Are these in order? Yeah, this is a complete set. So some people are set collectors and me even saying that I would send that away is blasphemy. I'm not a set collector um, per se. I do have some sets in my collection, obviously, like any collector probably does, but it's not my sole focus for collecting. I like to collect individual cards and in a PSA 10. I like PSA for a grading company. And I pretty much only collect ultra modern cards, so it's kind of strange. You, you'll hear people say that you send ultra modern cards to Beckett because they have the subgrades. But I just, I want my whole collection to be pretty uniform. I don't care if I get a few one offs here and there from different grading companies. But as far as, I, I don't know why, I just need them all to be the same. All right, we got some friend mail here. This one is from Jason, Jason D. 
Thanks for sending me something, brother. I got one more package after this. And we'll get ripping. Striker, I hope you have a great Father's Day. You're the best, Jason D. Thanks. Well, I mean, I didn't even know I was going to open this package on Father's Day. It just so happened. Perfect. How perfect is that? Whoa, this is... There's a slab in here. Look at this. Ahmed Rosario, 2018 Panini Chronicles Blue Wave Rookie. Look at that. That's number to 199. Thanks, man. You shouldn't have, but I appreciate the Father's Day present. Put him up there. There he is. Thanks for sending that. And last but not least, from the friend mail department, we've got something epic in here, I'm sure, as usual. Let's put Ahmed back there. I need a little extra space on the board. This is from the legend himself, Jeff Becker. Professional photographer and populator of Striker's Man Cave. Oh my goodness. Oh, Jeff, you outdo yourself once again. Let me look in this, but there's not a lot of room here. Sorry, I, I got you. Sorry, got everything out. I hate to miss something in the box. Look, he took this photo. It's a Jeff Becker 101, Bobby Witt Jr. Look at the shades and the reflection off the shades. Okay, I hate to open this. I don't want to open this, but he's got a he's got a letter on the inside, and I got to get to it. Okay, it's all good. It's meant to be opened. I'm struggling to do it though. I don't want to. I don't want to open this. I feel like it should be sealed, but. He wants me to open it because there's a note on the inside. Wow, this is awesome. Got to get that Bobby wet. Okay, easy. Easy to. I feel like I'm more fragile with this than the best baseball card I've ever pulled. Look at that. Oh no, don't don't get the tape on it. Oh, there's two in here. That's why. Good thing I did open it. Striker, thank you for your effort on making this hobby so great. Enjoy these additions to your collection. I'll send more in the future. Hope you like these. Take care, friend. Jeff. Wow. Jeff. You shouldn't have, but thank you. Man, is that a spectacular photograph. I mean, it, it captures everything that you want. And... One Aaron Judge, look at this. Whoa. That is so sharp and crisp. You can almost, I feel like he's right here. I don't know if you can get the full realism and clarity of this. Right in the dugout. One of one. This is an original photo by Jeff. He was right there taking this. So awesome. Well, time to get some more frames. <laughs> when Jeff sends me something good, I go all out and buy like nice 
real nice wood frames and matting and I take my time and pick out the frames to match everything else. Oh man, make my day. Thank you so much, Jeff. Unbelievably generous. Thank you so much. Well, let's get to the ripping. Two of my favorite products in existence. This dog right here, getting harder and harder to find. 2018 Tops Chrome Mega Boxes. So this is how you find X-Fractors. We're gonna start with, I think we start with 2019, and then we drop back down to 2018, what do you say? And as a special occasion, let's just use a real tiny little knife here. We'll just use the smallest knife in my collection that has the least amount of teeth on the back. Billy, Billy the bill hook, machete. Hanging out, killing zombies. or any intruders that might walk into the striker break cave of glory. All right, so the mega box, bunch of packs, but this is where the money's at. And actually, if you're looking for like the best bang for your buck as far as inserts and parallels, things like that go, the mega box is not the way to go. It's actually a, one of the worst odds to pull parallels. However, it's the only way to get the X-Fractors, so that's what we're doing. Joey Votto Refractor. You know I'm a big Tatis fan. I'm looking for a Tatis Parallel, or anything of the sort, a Vlad Parallel. Lots of other good rookies. How about a Pete Alonzo Chrome Rookie? I'll take it. Pete is crushing. I think he's second in the league in home runs right now, behind Judge. As usual, I mean, this dude, his hobby is light. It's because of his age. He's a little bit older. He's not, it's not like he's that old. He just came up when he was 24. It's been a couple of seasons full of turmoil where people aren't getting a full lot in the at bat. So, and especially, you know, higher pop on just the base stuff. He also had way more autographs in Topps Chrome. Here's a David Fletcher. If you go and look at the pop report, you can see, compare like Pete Alonzo rookie autos to any of the other big guys. And he has, it seems like he has about twice as many. So if you watch a lot of breaks, especially if you did back in the day, which I did, here's a Devers refractor of this product. You would see Pete autos getting pulled at a pretty regular basis, which was awesome at the time. His hobby was much bigger than it was. Um, than it is today, back then, especially when he's setting the rookie home run record. Deets. Astudio. Pitching again the other day. And a Jeff McNeil rookie. That's notable, I'll put him there. He's having a pretty good season. Kyle Wright, rookie. Let's get some parallels like right here, Freddie Freeman. So you do get a, still get a decent amount of parallels. They're not that hard to pull. One out of four for the refractors, one out of ten for the prisms. I mean, it's not great, but like if you open a value pack, which is the best odds always almost, especially right now, you got to kind of judge it based on the relative prices, but a value pack is still a great deal, especially lately. They've dropped in price a little bit. Mullins rookie, Syndergaard, and this is a good one. Acuna second year. It's got some collectability. Acuna, Soto, Otani second year cards all in here. They have their cup cards. They've got the 84 versions as well. Okay, so far, Pete, Acuna, Mullins, McNeil. Okay, not great. We're going to have to make up for it right here. 
10 X Fractors. You can get two big boys. At least two. Even the Tucker has some value too. Any of the Acuna, Soto, Otanis. Pilar, come on, baby. Walker Bueller Cup, not bad, but he's out. Unfortunately, that's a really cool card, too. I'm going to put him there. Last chance. Bader Cup. Hmm. All right. We'll just move on. Kind of a bust. Not the worst. How about this one? She's been sitting on the shelf for about two years collecting dust. Welcome. Time to see some daylight. This card, <laughs> this box has been beat up. It was beat up when I got it. Not too bad, but a little bit. Same story, two X Fractor packs, and this is 2018, so a lot of good players to get out of here as well. I wonder if the parallels were easier a year earlier. Let's see. Nope, exactly the same. One out of four, one out of ten. Yep. At least for those. Devers fl Freshman Flash. I don't think I have that. I'm going to put him in a good card pile. I like that card. I like Devers. I think he's underrated in the hobby. Probably the most underrated hobby in ultra modern baseball. For a while, it was Mookie. Back in 2019, Mookie's hobby wasn't uh, much of much of anything, Un you know, undeservedly. I remember. I think I watched a video about it back then too, and I was like, mm, maybe I should buy one. I never did. I wish I would have. And there he is. There's a Devers Chrome. Put him in the Devers pile. I've got a Devers X Fractor PSA 10. That same one. Green, man, Rano. I wish that was Cunha. Ninety-three of ninety-nine. Wow. Okay, we we'll keep it going. We still got lots of. You know, get a, at least a, a refractor or two, probably. Probably a Cunha or not. Okay. I wish. Probably a Prism. Oh, sweet. Okay. Shohei Otani Chrome rookie. That's a winner. So this box has been good already. A parallel, a couple of Devers. We got a Trout. Put them in the good card pile. Trout, Otani rookie, Devers rookie. This is just a banging product. I mean, I don't even know what that mega box costs these days. I think when I bought it, it had to have been at least three, probably 350 bucks. Been waiting for the right moment to open it up. And it's today. I've got my Father's Day hat on too, see? It's the Father's Day parallel. Odds of getting an auto out of here, I hear you ask. Good luck. I'm not looking. Very, it's hard. Let's see. I don't know.
Dylan Peters refractor. That's not the refractor I wanted. Here's the big boys. Can totally make up for it. I don't have the Acuna X refractor in my collection. Wait, actually, I think I do. I don't have the Otani. I did at one point. Just love the X refractors. What a Robles. And the Bueller. Last pack. Thanks for joining me. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Ring the notification bell so you get notified when I go live. Post a new break. Strikerbreaks.com. Let's get those thumbs up going. Glaber. Sweet. That's a good one. Glaber's hobby's picking up. Like that. That was a good mega box. All in all, a good mega box. I mean, we got... Just ignore the fact that he's hurt. But a Bueller rookie, X-Fractor. Robles doesn't have much of a hobby. Glaber, that... Man, that used to be quite valuable. Otani Chrome out of there. Regular Trout. Got a green. Devers. Two different Devers rookies. Bueller Cup out of the first one. Got the Acuna. Mullins rookie, McNeil rookie, Pete Alonzo rookie, couple of stand worthy cards. What a great day! I'll be seeing you soon. Thanks for watching. I will catch you all later.